Hey guys, welcome back to the 41 Week. Today we're going to talk about how to install the new Windows 8.1 preview. The first thing we want to do to install our Windows 8.1 preview is open up any web browser and type in preview.windows.com. I'll put the link in the description, but this is just a shortcut link that's going to bring us to a longer URL for where the install file is. Now there's a lot of changes with 8.1 and I'll do another video to describe those changes, but if you'd like to watch the video Microsoft released, there's a link to it on the page as well. We want to scroll down and we want to click on get it now. And this link is going to bring us to another link where there's going to be some instructions for this 8.1 preview. Now, it's important to note that this is a preview. This is not the full version of 8.1. That's going to come later in the fall. We don't have an exact date as of today. So there's a few things you might want to be aware of. First of all, all of your documents and settings will be upgraded to from Windows 8 to Windows 8.1 preview. If you, if you want to upgrade to the 8.1 RTM, which is the full version in the fall when it's released, your files and settings will still come away with your upgrade. However, if you upgrade from 8 to 8.1 preview now, and then want to upgrade to the full version of 8.1 in the fall, you may lose some apps that are in the Metro side and some programs you have installed on your desktop side. Now you can reinstall those apps through the store and you can reinstall your programs as long as you go download it or have the disc or any type of DVD, medium, flash drive that may have came with that. If you have serial numbers, you're going to need to be aware of that. You might have to do some uninstalls before you upgrade to reinstall Windows 8.1 in the fall. So with that being said, there is one thing we can do to not necessarily get around that, but to help offset that issue when it arises. So if you look on the screen, we're going to scroll down a little bit where it says create a USB recovery drive. We're going to click that and we are going to create a USB recovery drive to reinstall quote unquote Windows 8 on top of the Windows 8.1 preview before we install the full blown version of 8.1. So there's a few steps in to do this. The first thing is to make sure you have a blank emptied out flash drive that's at least four, if not eight gigabytes. So there's a few steps to do this and they're very simple to follow. On the screen, we're going to move our mouse over and we're going to click on the search icon. We're going to type in recovery and then click on settings. And then over in the left side, in that second panel, we're going to click create a recovery drive. This is going to pull up a Microsoft Windows uh, wizard that we're familiar with. We'll click next, or it's a good idea to plug your flash drive in at this time as well. It's going to find our flash drive. We'll click next and it will format it for us and make it a backup drive. So here I'm just showing that that is a flash drive I have installed that is empty. So we'll come back to our screen. We'll click next. We'll click create. This just takes a few seconds. It's not too long at all. Again, it's going to format the drive and it's going to copy all of the install files. So we'll speed this up for a second. All right, once that's finished, I'm just going to close this wizard and go back to my computer and show you that in this recovery drive, this is all of our boot files. There's, there's a boot manager file and some other EFI files Windows needs in order to reinstall. Now, if you notice, mine is only around two gigs. So that is okay, depending on your system and what you have set up, it may be a larger file that you will need. All right, going back to that web page, we're going to click on get the update. And this is just going to install an update file that we need to run in order to reinstall this 8.1 preview. So whenever we click on that, it gives us the option to open or save. Notice the file is around 10 megabytes, which is a very quick download depending on your internet connection and it'll probably be a very quick install as we'll see. I always like to make sure I save files before I open them. So we'll click on save. Give that a second to download. 
All right, once it's finished downloading, we'll click on My Computer or Files and we'll go to our Downloads folder. We'll double click the file that we've downloaded. We'll click Run. When it prepares the installation, it's going to give us the option to run again. You may get a UAC panel come up on your screen. Just click on Yes. That's just verifying that we did, in fact, click that and we do want to, in fact, install this file. So this is going to take a few minutes. It's just going to search for updates and it's going to run an installer to get us prepared for the 8.1 download. Once the updates are finished installing, it's going to prompt us for a restart. So we want to make sure everything else is closed. We've saved all of our work if we were doing anything else. And then we're going to click on restart now. Once you restart your computer and you go to your start screen in Windows 8, you should get this image that pops up that says get Windows 8.1 preview for free. If this does pop up, you can just click on go to the store and it'll go to the correct link. If this graphic didn't pop up, that's okay. From your start screen, you should just be able to click on store. And the first thing that it brings you to should be this Windows 8.1 preview install. So we'll simply just click on download. And this is going to be a two gigabyte file, which is a very large file. Depending on your internet connection, this could take anywhere from maybe 10 minutes to 10 hours. Um, I believe for me, the overall download process took about two hours. I'm going to fast forward the install so you'll see how it goes through all of the installation process and pick back up when it's complete. Once Windows 8.1 Preview is finished downloading, a pop-up will come up prompting you for a restart. If you don't catch it in time, it will automatically restart in about 15 minutes. So you need to be careful if you had anything you were working on to make sure it was saved. Or if not, just make sure you frequently check the download process and see where it looks like it is during the installation. So we'll click on Restart Now. Once you restart the computer, it will take upwards of a few hours to apply and set everything up for this Windows 8.1. When setup is complete, it is going to prompt you for an end user license agreement. And again, re remember this is a preview, it's not the full blown version. So when you finish installing in the fall, you will have to do a clean install or reboot back to previous settings with that USB recovery drive we've created. So we'll click on I accept. Now once we do that, there's two options we have for express settings or custom settings. Through here you can see that we can make Windows automatically update our apps. We have a little bit of driver information, protection, some stuff for online settings, and other Microsoft services. Then it's going to finalize our settings and boot to our desktop. Once that's complete, it's going to prompt you for a login. If you have multiple users, you're going to choose which user you are. Notice the lock screen has also changed. It's given us a different default Windows 8.1 image for the lock screen. Once the computer's logged in, we see that the background for our start screen has also changed. And in other videos, I'll show you how we can change that from the default to something we would like, or maybe to match our desktop background. So that's it for Windows 8.1 preview. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try my best to help. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.